Yud is good. Yud is your boy Tom back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be doing a tier list of the top point guards in NBA 2K24, my team. Now, I did a lot of the new point guards that obviously aren't behind gambling. So any of the gambling cards aren't going to be on this tier list. Again, until 2K changes the way they do things, I can't be in, in support of that. So the Galaxy Opals that are going to be on here, you're looking at James Harden, you're looking at Sidney Moncrief, and then you're looking at Austin Reeves. Because those are the cards that you don't have to gamble for. Again, I don't even care. You want to spend money on the game, whatever. But it's like, if every card's behind gambling, then it, to me, it rubs me the wrong way. So that's what this tier list is going to be. Obviously, if you have most of the Galaxy Opals, I guess Tyrese Maxey should be on here as well. But if you have any of like the, the Galaxy Opals, I'd put them at S or A, probably, uh, unless it's a bad one. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. We're going to start it off with Diamond CJ McCollum. Now, is CJ McCollum the worst? No, I mean, I think, honestly, if you were, let's say you are watching this video and you're using CJ McCollum, he's not horrible. But on the flip side of things, he's not great. He's undersized. His release is okay, but it's not great. I just don't know if I can put him ahead of C tier. I mean, I, I just think he's undersized and that really does hurt him. But decent dribble style, decent movement. And as far as a level up card, starts as an ammo, gets that diamond, is a really solid option. New Year's resolution, Luka Doncic. I mean, when you're talking about non-gambling point guards, I still like him quite a bit. Is A tier 2 high? Maybe, but that's where I'm going right now because he does play decent defense. Offensively, can knock down shots, be less secondary type of ball handler. I do think as far as an overall uh, point guard in my team, Luka Doncic is still one of the better options that we do have right now. Ping Diamond AI, I mean... Is he great? No, he's not totally useless though. And that's that's the main point I'm trying to get at. Again, I don't like AI that much. I'll probably never use him. Even if I had AI, I wouldn't get him. The worst part about him is to get Allen Iverson, you have to basically win 15 different domination games and in each game score 50 points with one player. So he's super tough to get as well. Objectively, is he better than CJ McCullough? Maybe. I'm going to put both of them at D tier right now just because I think that's where they belong. Amen Thompson. I mean, between Amen Thompson and Luka Doncic, I really do think it's preference. I probably personally prefer Luka, but I know a lot of guys who might prefer Amen Thompson. So I think I've got to put both cards at A tier. I actually like both cards. I've used both cards before. I, Amen Thompson's release, I just do not think is great. Baron Davis up next. I mean, C tier maybe. I still am not in love with his release, and I'm on. I'm known for saying that. Like, I know he's, I think he's got the Damian Lillard base. Uh, but I, I just feel like he's never as good as advertised. Again, he's way overpriced as well. Like Baron Davis is not cheap at all, pretty expensive. And so it's hard for me to hype up a card like that. Guess I'll go C tier. Colin up next, D tier. His tier list is going to be weird because we do have a lot of bad point guards in my team. Because any card that has really come out this season that's not behind gambling is, is not going to be very good. Colin is just another one of those cards. Damian Lillard up next, uh, D tier. I mean, I think Dame's offense is actually still decent. Uh, the problem with Damian Lillard really lies when you look at the defensive end of the court. He's just not going to be great. Now, yes, Dame has a ton of Galaxy Opal cards as well. I get that. Fantastic. But none of those cards are that great either. D tier for Damian Lillard. Danny Abdia up next. I'm going to go A tier. And this is one of the things I do like about Domination, right? It's so easy that literally everybody can get their hands on Denny. Since he is in the Eastern Conference, the grind for him is probably, what, nine games, maybe 11 games, not super long for him. And look, if you get him, you get a really solid point guard. 6'9", good height, good frame. I personally, again, haven't used Denny like all year long, so I'd be lying to say I know exactly what he's going to be like movement-wise. Probably not going to be great as far as handling the ball, stuff like that. But again, he's a 6'9 point guard. And for that, I got to respect him. Derrick Rose up next, C tier, I guess. Um, I'm not a big Derrick Rose fan, though. And I, I, I like when Derrick Rose came out, I got the card. Because why? I could buy him as well as get Adam Morrison for a certain amount. And, uh, and again, those were the good old days of my team. You spend a certain amount, you were able to get whatever card you want. Derrick Rose obviously wasn't great in that rewritten set, but at least you could get him if you wanted him. Devin Booker, one of our S-tier point guards. There's not too many S-tier point guards that we're going to go over and talk about today. Devin Booker is one of them. 
in my opinion, what, the third best non-gambling point guard in the entire game, I think, is where I've got to have him. I mean, offensively, just an absolute beast. Defensively, I think he's fine. I think, honestly, on the defensive end of the court, I'm going to say it. A lot of people might disagree. I think he's underrated. I don't think he's, like, a total liability. I think, overall, S-tier is the right spot for Devin Booker. Next up, Donovan Mitchell. And I might be crazy, but I'm going to throw him in B tier. I actually really like Donovan Mitchell for what he is. Now, when I say that, I think it's important that you guys understand what I'm saying. So what is Donovan Mitchell? Why do I like him for what he is? Well, he's a lack of code card that you could get for absolutely free. And I think that's important to know because, I mean, look, Donovan Mitchell by himself, like I would never spend on him. But you literally can get the card for absolutely free in a locker code. And for that, what more can you want? I think Donovan Mitchell, a really solid option in a 2K in my team. Dante DiVincenzo, I'm going to go B tier as well. I don't think he's as good as Luca Amen Thompson. But when Dante DiVincenzo came out, a lot of people did hype the card up. And I, I, like, I, I was actually kind of surprised at how many people like Dante. I mean, I like him. I think the card's fine. I didn't love his release. And I didn't like the fact that he couldn't standing dunk either. I mean, he's good, but I think B tier is where I'm at with the card. Draymond Green up next. Draymond's an interesting one here because defensively, he's probably better than a guy like Luka Doncic for sure. But it's that release is so bad that it's tough. I'm going to put him at B tier. And I've got Draymond Green on the No Money Spit Squad tiers. And I actually think the card is going to be solid for me. But it just, it's, it's tough, right? Because he, 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 it's basically impossible to get that release off. And, that, and, and for me, it's just like, okay, if I can't get a release off, if it's that slow, how am I supposed to sit there and hype him up, right? I, I, I guess that's where I'm at. Offensively, just leaves a lot to be desired. But defensively, Draymond Green's one of the best point guards in the entire game. Gail Goodrich, I mean, D tier. I did play against Gail the other day, and he wasn't that bad. So, like, I don't think he's quite F tier, but Gail Goodrich is definitely not the man with the plan in my team. Gary Payton right in here at B tier, right with the Dantes and Draymonds of the world. Now, you know what? I feel like one guy doesn't belong here at B tier. And you guys can hate, hate me if you want, but Draymond Green is A tier. He is. I mean, with what he can do on the defensive end of the court, I feel like he absolutely has to be A tier. Maybe I'm wrong. And, and if I'm wrong down below in the comments, you guys can say, Ty, you're gassing Draymond for no reason. But I think with as good as his defense is, he has to be at A tier. Jalen Brunson. I don't know why. I played against Carlo last night in the tournament. He ran Jalen Brunson a little bit uh, for offensive pur purposes. He's D tier. I mean, Jalen Brunson is not great on the court. And, and I, I, the whole offensive purposes thing doesn't make sense because you really, I guess he ran Penny most of the game. So with that, I guess I get it. But like, if you want an offensive card, why why get Jalen Brunson over a guy, let's say like a Devin Booker or, you know, an Austin Reeves or a James Harden? Like those cards, in my opinion, are better on the offensive end of the court. Jalen Brunson's release catch shoot is really good, but that's about all he gives you on the court. Both of our James Harden's up next. Watch James Harden gameplay. If it's not out at the time you recorded, it should be out. Go watch it on my channel. James Harden is absolutely elite. Whether you use the uh, the pay to win one with the very quick release or just the one with the release on quick, either way, James Harden is the man with the plan. Easy addition into S tier, a great level thirty uh, or level forty reward. Ja Morant up next is C tier too low for Ja. I, I I don't think so. I personally don't like Ja. Now, do I think he's better than D Rose? And Baron Davis is not C tier. I'm sorry, he's he's D tier. Baron Davis is not good. Um, but am I too low on Ja? I think that's uh, an opinion people can have. Like I, I actually think Ja is really solid in my team especially with that release I just don't love his movement I think that's the big red flag for me and Ja Morant Jace Williams F tier I'm not even gonna spend time talking about that garbage man Drew Holiday I'm gonna go A tier yes I personally like Drew Holiday a little more than Gary Payton a little more than Dante DiVincenzo it's just kind of my personal preference type thing but with as much as I've used Drew I really do like the card I really appreciate what the card has given me and so I'm going to put him at A tier and not think twice about it and again, that's just my personal bias. If you like, you know, Donovan Mitchell over Drew, that's fine. If you like Dante, even Chenzo, Gary Payne over Drew, that's fine. It's personal preference. This Luke, I mean, he's still 6'7". Still going to be better than a lot of these cards at D tier. I'm going to go C tier. Not great, obviously. That Luka is not great at all. Defensively is borderline a liability, but he is still 6'7". And again, if you have height, you can at least somewhat compete in 2K Luka. C tier. Magic Man up next. Gotta go B tier with Magic. And again, I'm not the biggest Magic fan in the game, but 
as times went on, I've started respecting Magic more and more as, as we just went through things. Like, uh, obviously, again, the card's not perfect. His release is so slow, borderline unusable. But again, as times went on, I've grown an appreciation for what the card can do. Defensively, solid enough. Offensively, can play at a decent enough level. Magic Johnson, in my opinion, be a tier. And next up, Marcus Smart. Could have got him for free a couple of weeks ago by logging on every single day. And I think if we're having a guy like Donovan Mitchell at B tier, I've got to throw Marcus Smart at B tier. And again, it's it's one of those things I do wish Marcus Smart was a little taller. Only at what, 6'3", I think, at the point guard position. But if you look at what the card can do in the defense front of the court, you're going to be impressed with him. Now, obviously, you do wish offensively he was a little bit more talented, but the card is still really good. Markel Fultz, this one's a tough one. I'm going to go A tier with Markel Fultz. I really think he's a step above those guys at B tier. I do. When you're comparing him to even like a Donovan Mitchell, a Dante DiVincenzo, give me Markel Fultz over those guys every single day. I mean, you're looking at a car that can play really solid offense, defensively hold it down. I mean, I think he's got to be there. MCW, I, I for me, it's not fair to rank him because, again, I have not used him with that release. I'm going to put him at B tier, though, just based off his stats and based off of, you know, his potential. Because I do think his potential is definitely there. Now, will he live up to that? It's yet to be determined, but I'm at B tier with the card right now. Nate Robb, way too undersized to put. Nate Robinson is literally a card they put in packs to absolutely troll and, I, and i'm not trying to hate on him he's he is what he is but that's why he's in packs just to be a troll type of card f tier if you have nate robinson anywhere else i need to check like on you are you good are you okay like sure if you want to you know be a have a fun card that you can dunk with sure but that's about all it gives you oj mayo i'm gonna go a tier as well i still think that upper on that release is slow uh, it's a, a tier is too high. I'm gassing him. He's B tier. He's B tier. I'm gassing him. He has decent height, 6'5". Just wish defensive badges were maybe a little bit better uh, because defensively, he's going to struggle a little bit. And that is a little bit of a red flag for me. Oscar up next. Now, this one's tough. I'm going to put him at S tier, the lower end of S tier, because I think Oscar is closer to being that S tier level than the uh, A tier level. Like, I think there's a large gap there, and I like Oscar enough to be S tier. Now, is Devin Booker, James Harden way better than Oscar? Yes, especially offensively. I can't sit there and argue that. Can't sit there and deny that. But Oscar can go out there and compete with those three guys at a really, really high level. Penny Hardaway up next, A tier for Penny. I still think to this day, Penny Hardaway is one of the more complete point guards in the entire game. Obviously, if you have the Galaxy over Penny, you've got a gem. Diamond Penny is still really good. Big difference there is he's just uh, the Galaxy Opal Penny is just an improved Diamond Penny. It's really all there really is to say about it. A tier is where he belongs. Pissed Pete Maravich, you stink. I mean, and again, I, I'm tired of people gassing Pete. Like in years past, sure, Pete Maravich has been fine because his release was absolutely outstanding. This year, it's not the case. D tier for Pistol Pete. Rondo, tired of people gassing him. I'm going F tier. And oh, here comes all the Rondo stands. Ty, you just haven't used the card, man. I don't need to use Rondo, okay? It's simple, easy. I don't need to use a card that's 6-1 that doesn't have a good release. That doesn't sound too fun to me, does it? No. Shade and Sharp up next. I don't think the card's great. I know he is 6'5", so I guess I'll throw him at C tier. You guys can let me know if I'm wrong on Shade and Sharp. Um, I, again, haven't used him. Didn't buy him to me. Just an overpriced card. But if you like Shade and Sharp, let me know down below in the comments because maybe I could give him a try. SGA Diamond up next. He still has a great release. Offensively going to be fantastic. I just... I don't know, man. B tier, he probably should have been on my top 100s. But the, the problem with SGA is this. You get SGA... And then you feel like you've got to spend a ton on badges, badging up. You got to spend, buy him a shoe. I, I'm going to go C tier at this stage. Like, he is not complete at all. Sydney Moncrief up next. Sydney Moncrief is complete. I'm going to go. Here's, I think here's where I've got to start going into, into A tier. I think he is A tier because I don't want S tier to be full of what? More than five guys. Uh, and so for me, Sydney Moncrief is A tier. I really do like the card. I think he can compete at a high level. Wish he was a little bit taller, but if you look at what he does for you on the defensive end of the court, you're probably going to like Sidney Moncrief. I mean, that's just me being completely honest with you. With what he does defensively, so has a good release. I think A tier is the right spot. Spencer Dinwiddie up next. Uh, oof. Uh, another C. Man, I'm going to go B tier. But it's tough because is he better than SGA? I don't know. I'm going to go like this. I think if I put Spencer Dinwiddie at B tier, I got to put SGA at B tier. It's just one of those things it's tough because a lot of it is preference based between Dinwiddie and SGA it's, it's totally preference uh, and I think if you really 
asked me, my SGA or my Spencer Dinwiddie, I like SGA. But again, he's maxed out badge-wise. He has a shoe. And so that's not really fair. When you're looking at the base cards, I think, you know, they're relatively similar. I'll throw both of them at B tier. If you want to have them a little, you know, lower, a little, uh, yeah, if you want to put them at C tier, that's a okay with me. Steph Curry, I think he's better than most of these guys at D tier. I'm throwing him at upper D tier. This Steph Curry, I'm going to go C tier though. I don't, I don't like the Steph Curry disrespect this year. And maybe I'm biased because I, I mean, I've used Steph Curry uh, a little bit on my No Money Spent account. But if you don't believe me, go watch my old No Money Spent Squad series episodes. Inferno Steph was an absolute bucket getter when I needed one. And so for that, I at least have to respect him a little bit. D tier for the Inferno Steph. For the uh, new All-Star Steph, I'm going C tier. Stephon Marbury, here's where things get tough. Here's what, I mean, this Derrick Rose does not belong at C tier. He doesn't because, I mean, if I'm going to put Stephon Marbury at D tier, I can't put Derrick Rose at C tier. That's just not fair. I think this is where they belong, though, to be honest, because I like Steph Curry more than Derrick Rose and Stephon Marbury, even if it's the Inferno one. Do not care. Steve Francis never used the card, so if I'm wrong, you can let me know. I'm going to go D tier, though. Definitely was not worth grinding for in salary cap at the end of the day. So am I maybe biased against him for that? Sure. But I mean, the card is undersized. I know he's going to dunk the ball well, but just don't think he's great. Trey Young, F tier. I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, but he's got the Trey fit. I don't care. Tyreek Evans, C tier. Just lacks a little bit. I know he's going to make plays. I know he's going to dunk the ball, but he lacks a little bit of those shooting badges. I personally wish he had. Tyrese Halliburton up next. Pink Diamond Tyrese really is not bad. I'm going to throw him at B tier. He's, he's not bad. And, uh, and again, I, this is coming from somebody in myself. I'm on record for saying that I did not like the Diamond Tyrese Halliburton at all. Pink Diamond Tyrese, Tyrese was definitely a step up. Opal Tyrese definitely can play if you have him. My whole thing is, I think B tier is the right spot. If you want to go higher, I just don't know if I, I can get behind it. But he's fine at B tier, in my opinion. Definitely a fine card that you can pick up and have some success with. Opal Tyrese Maxi, I don't know where to go with him. I'm going to go C tier. I know his release is on very quick, but he still has such a low release point that I think that's going to hurt the card's value a little bit. With all that uh, being said, I mean, I, I don't know. He still is a Galaxy Opal. He's still a darn near perfect stat-wise card. I just wish his release was a little bit better, and he was a little bit taller. Victor Oladipo, I've started you know, gaining some appreciation for the card. I'm going to go B tier. And I'm also going to move Tyreek Evans up to B tier. Now, look, for Tyreek Evans, he is six, what, six, 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 five? I think he's six, six. So if you have a six, six point guard in Tyreek Evans, I know he's not perfect, but how bad really can you be? I think you at least deserve B tier. And for Victor Oladipo, six, three, but defensively is an absolute menace. Offensively, yes, leaves a little bit to be desired, but I still think because of what he can do on the defensive end of the court, he deserves to be there. Next up, Austin Reeves, easy addition into S tier. Austin Reeves is so good. I've got a lot of hate when I did my top 100. Austin Reeves is barely top 10, Ty. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay, play me and my Austin Reeves and see what happens to you, man. Like, and, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I'm just saying, people that don't like Austin Reeves, number one, don't probably know what a Pro 2 leaner is. Number two, don't know how good Austin Reeves Pro 2 leaner is. Number three, they don't know how to move and groove with Austin Reeves. And I'm not even the best dribbler in the world, but I can create my own shot at basically will with Austin Reeves, especially if you're looking at cards to use in Unlimited or any sort of clutch time online, triple threat online, even like triple threat offline. Austin Reeves is at the very top of that short list. Like he is that man with the plan in my team. And again, if you do not like Austin Reeves, I think it's probably a you problem because if I like him and I like I'm a defensive head, you guys should probably like the card as well. That's going to wrap it up for our point guard tier list today, guys. Let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments. If there's anybody I missed out on, let me know down below in the comments so I can include them in a future list, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.